Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here, and we're going to talk about using a prop that helps to bring the floor up to us. It's something that Marie Jose taught me many, many years ago, um, and we're going to use a, just a simple towel to help overextenders, right? So lots of rib shoving forward, um, over lordosis in the lumbar spine to help build the floor up so when they're supine and they're trying to find that ab connection that they can do it better. Now, for every person, you're gonna have to individualize how big the burrito roll is, right? Um, but you wanna err on making it smaller than bigger. And then if you really feel like it's too small in your first try building it up. Okay, so in supine, one of the things that we see, and we're gonna go in a future video on some other stuff and how to use the towel for other types of posture presentations, but a lot what we see is this kind of overextension when someone is supine, right? So they're shoving their lumbar spine and their ribs up to the ceiling. They're overarching their pelvis. So you can get a towel and place it under the lumbar curve, right? So that they have something, those overextenders have something to kind of lightly press back into. And so from that overextension, they're starting to wheel their pelvis back. So they're bringing their pelvis into, you know, a little bit of a posterior tilt just to bring them to neutral, right? And so that organization back into that very small posterior tilt where their lumbar spine is meeting the towel is really gonna start to turn on their, their deep transverse abdominals and it's gonna keep them from being uh, probably these people who are overextended are really over dominant in their internal obliques, right? So it's gonna bring more of the transverse into it. It's really gonna help to organize the abdominal wall a bit more. So what you wanna be careful of is that they don't overshoot it, right? That they don't go into that full tuck where they really come out of neutral. Because the idea here is, is that they find the towel, but they just find the towel. They don't disorganize the pelvis out of length, out of neutral. So they still have the feeling of wide sitting bones release tail, even though the lumbar spine is reaching into the towel. And that's really gonna connect the front rib cage and the lower belly. It's gonna help to try to kind of organize the, the pressure systems between the lower belly and the pelvis as they start to do their ab work, right? So the, you know, the, the person with this overextension problem, you add the simple towel, you give them that feedback that they have to reach into if people have a lot of trouble, like, you know, the, the towel isn't enough, then my recommendation is to use like a smart spine product that's heated, right? So there are many smart spine products that are kind of this small that like the sacral wedge that you could heat up and then someone could just find that sacral wedge. So the heat is gonna give them more awareness, right? So that they can hold that connection, for example, as they do marching or any other kind of ab challenges where they're really trying to keep the stable pelvis and thorax. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.